<sighs> Angle's weird. Lighting's weird. Everything's just weird. Okay. Gonna start the video now. Hey everyone. So, super late Happy New Year. Um, it's the 20th. Probably will be the 21st by the time I get this uploaded. But I've actually been sick for the last couple of weeks, so I have a legitimate excuse for not having a video out for you guys because I couldn't talk. <laughs> so anyway, so today's video is going to be about The Death Cure, which is the third book in the Maze Runner trilogy. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so I really like this novel. I feel like I start a lot of videos off like that, but I just, I generally tend to like the novels I read. So I really like this one as well, like every other novel. Okay, but this novel is fast paced. There's a lot of action, but it's also really, really sad. So there's that. In addition to that though, it's got a lot of twists and turns and the characters are really dynamic and I did spend a lot of the novel being suspicious of anyone that consciously came in contact with Wicked. So 80% of the characters um, and all of these twists and turns and suspicion bringing things made me dislike Teresa even more. And I really wanted to like her and I was hoping that she would be redeemed in my eyes by the end of this novel and she really wasn't. And so I mean that kind of sucks but it is what it is. Least favorite character award goes to Teresa. Although now that I think about it her name really makes a lot of sense with what happened at the end to her. Oh okay. Um, but yeah, I don't like Teresa. On the subject of negative things, I do think that this book probably has one of the saddest death scenes that I've ever read. In addition to me just being really, really attached to the character, it was just an emotional scene on its own. And it was just, it was really, really sad. But nevertheless, it was also one of the best written death scenes. It still was really hard to read though. On a happier note, one thing that I really really did love about this novel was the focus on the friendships rather than the romantic relationship side of things. Now I'm not saying that wasn't there because it was a little bit, but overall the platonic friendships were what was the focus as far as relationships go and I'm really glad for that because I feel like in a lot of novels the friendships just get pushed to the side and forgotten and aren't developed and I really like that they were in this because it sends the message that you need your friends and they're there to help you and when you have them you know things while still tough are more manageable because you have that support system so I think that's that was great and it was refreshing to see the friendship being the primary bond that was focused on rather than the romantic aspect. So that was really good. There wasn't a lot that I disliked about this novel. I think probably the biggest thing was was the scene towards the end. I felt was well, not really a, a scene towards the end, this little, little section towards the end of the novel. Um, I felt it was rushed, but at the same time, like looking back on it and thinking about it, I can see why it was done that way because it sets up for the tone of like the coming chapters. So while I'm not the biggest fan of how it was done, I can see why it was done that way and it makes sense. Despite that of like that bit towards the end, I absolutely love the way this book ended. Um, I think it wrapped things up really nicely, loose ends were tied, and I think for what happened and the possibilities for the future of these characters, it was just 
it just ended really well. It was wrapped up nicely and I was, I was happy with it. Overall, I think this is one of those series that just get better as it goes and that's a great thing and I honestly hope that the upcoming movie does really well and that way we get a deal for the second one and then on to the third one because I really want to see this book adapted on screen. So I think it'll be great. Um, so yeah, that's it. The Death Cure was a great ending to an overall great trilogy. You should definitely put it on your to read list. So my next video will be on Unsold by Neil Schusterman. I'm not sure when that will be up, but after I get that posted, I'm thinking I'm going to take a break from like the dystopian, super depressing things. No, I take that back. Things will still be depressing, but I am definitely going to take a break from dystopian for a while and maybe review some sci-fi stuff because I'm currently reading a ebook that is very science fiction-y. Um, a couple of John Green's novels. Um, gonna have some time travel in there. Maybe possibly throw in some stuff about mermaids. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but that will all be coming in the future. So I I'm not sure when. As always, links to contact me and for info about the novel, the author, and the upcoming movie will all be in the description. So yeah, that's all. See you later. Bye.